Well, hello, people. Today, we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to do a review of my Benjamin Bulldog 357 pre-charged pneumatic air rifle, PCP for short. Um, this is a three, 357 caliber. Um, I am shooting 115 grain hollow point lead. It's just basically, I'm sure you could just load that as a 357 round uh, if you were reloading. They're uh, 115 grain. Um, they'll shoot at 800 feet per second with 200 foot pounds of energy. Um, that's actually, that's a lot of power. Um, the gun pumps up to 3,000 uh, 3, pounds. You, they sell a hand pump or uh, uh, electric pumps, uh, high pressure air compressors. It's kind of the same uh, compressor that they use for scuba tanks. But you can also go to a scuba shop and have get the gun refilled, but it was just easier to buy a, buy a compressor. I'll do a review on that in a little bit. But uh, the, the gun will shoot 10 shots per charge. Um, it has a, a five round clip. Here is a, a, the, an extra clip that I have. Um, come a little bit closer. I'll show you. Right here's the, the loading arm. It's basically a, you pull it back to cock it, and then you could lift. the clip out. Not so easy. What you're doing is you have to pull it back far enough that the bolt clears and you get it back in there. But you want to make sure that when you did that you're not going to dump another round into the chamber. So if you roll it back one, insert it and then close it. That way you, you don't you're not going to run too too lead into the chamber. But here's the pressure gauge, uh three three thousand pounds. Um, it has a two-stage trigger. It weighs 7.7 uh, .7 pounds without the scope. But with this scope that I have on it, it's going to go about 12 pounds. Um, you can get about, well, you can get 10 full-power shots per charge. But it's not like the gun is empty. Actually, it'll only drop it down to around 2,000 pounds um, after the 10 shots. And something that I didn't realize is uh, they pre-charge these a little bit, I guess, to test them because they have to test fire them before they, they ship them. And so when I got that, it had about 1,000 pounds of air in it. And I didn't realize it. And uh, it was sitting on my workbench. And I reached over and I hit the trigger and it fired. And it went through a legal pad, hit my hard, hardwood topped workbench, made about a three inch gouge in the hardwood, came back up through the legal pad and lodged in the wall. So pretty much a, even with a thousand pounds, it will definitely break the skin. So that's something you want to be aware of. Um, I have outfitted this with an a and X sight 4K. Um, it is a 5 by 20 power. Basically, it is uh, more of a camera. It's not an optical view through it, it's a camera view. But it's also a video camera. Um, uh, has a ballistic calculator, range finder, uh, it's a night vision. It comes with a 100 yard infrared scope. Um, it has multiple settings on it. Uh, one thing that's nice is when you pull the trigger, the recoil will make the camera record and it backs up 10 seconds prior to you pulling. You can set how far back it goes, but once you pull the trigger, it saves the recording. And all, another thing I like about it, it has what's called uh, one shot zeroing. And you take the scope, uh, mount the scope, uh, put the crosshairs on the center of the target, pull the trigger, wherever the round hit, 
you set this so you set the scope back on the crosshairs and then you hit the buttons and adjust the cro the you'll have two sets of crosshairs a red set and a yellow set you leave the yellow set on the center of the bullseye but you move the red set down to your bullet hole and once you do that it adjusts the you've shown the scope how much it's off and it re it adjusts itself to uh back to the center yet yeah, you might want to do it once or twice to get uh fine tuned but it's uh, pretty handy it also it has uh several settings for different guns so it has a memory for whatever gun that you're going to put it on uh so it knows the ballistics of the gun that you're shooting so it knows the drop off uh so for instance if you took a uh, scope off of a 22 and put it on a 30 out six how the where the bullet hits can be way off obviously because of trajectory drop off uh velocity whatnot so that that gun that scope remembers the gun that it was on you just program in which gun you're going to put it on and then when you mount it to that gun you enter that that account and uh, it already has all the information so i'm you uh don't have to do anything else and with the one shot zero uh pulling it off and putting it on another gun makes it very convenient but it's uh it's a it's a little bit heavy so it's more of a stand gun than uh, packing around. Uh, Washington State, you can hunt uh, everything but big game and birds. So no no deer, elk, bear, cougar, or ducks or uh, pheasants or anything like that. But uh, all small, you can hunt rabbits and, and uh, uh, rabbits, coyotes, uh, beavers, and possums. Any any of uh, small game you can shoot with these in Washington State. It varies from state to state. Um, next, oh, we'll go into this is a Primus trigger stick that I've got mounted on there. Um, with this kind of Primus stick, it comes with this mounted on the top, but they're interchangeable, so you can mount a camera or whatever that you want to put on there. And there's a, a screw that runs through the center and a, a, a piece of plastic on the bottom that clips into the top of that. Well, I took that piece of plastic off, bolted it to my rail, so now I can just clip the uh, trigger stick right to my gun. You flip, a, flip this switch down and then push the button in and it pops right off there. Which makes it kind of convenient because, like I say, I use this for hunting coyotes. So you're kind of sitting down and then you can adjust the height to uh, a comfortable position for for shooting or whatnot. So I think that's about it. Um, uh, I would say that it will pierce a two by four at 50 yards. It'll blow right through a two by four at 50 yards. So that's a that's packing a wallop. Um, you know, close up on the scope, uh, five by 20. And then up on top here, it has uh, yeah, power, record. Once it's on, you push the right side to record. You can a little camera button there. Um, it's actually a, a a really nice scope. It would be. It's. I wish we had hogs here because night hunting for hogs that would be great. But uh, I'm gonna start trying some night coyote hunting. And if nothing else, I'm, I'm gonna take this out and do some filming with just take the scope out and uh, film some deer at night. I was out in Warehouser last night and I saw about 30 of them and uh, that would have really been entertaining to sit and film them for a while. So I guess that's about it. That's the review. Um, I, I like the gun. It's a little bit heavy. And I guess there's one, one other thing that I wanted to go into. But I'll bring that up with uh, my next review of my Benjamin Armada gun I will show you a difference between the two that that uh, I wish was different but it isn't um, this body of gun also they have uh, it shoots arrows um, it's like 450 feet per second uh, it'll shoot six arrows on a charge I think and basically it's the same gun except the um, arrows 
go in right here. Uh, this is just more air chamber, and then the arrows go underneath, slide back in underneath the rail. So, but other than that, um, I like A and T scopes. They they have. I'm really wanting to get one of their thermal scopes. They're about 1,100 bucks, but I just think I really want a thermal scope. Um, trigger stick Primus. I like it. Uh, they. There's a few things they could do to it. It has, uh, that one pivots, so it has a little bit of extra play in it. But once you get it set down like that, you're all right. I just wish that the, the you could adjust the spread of the legs where it's either, there's nowhere to lock them in. You're either all the way down, that locks them in, it can't go down any further. But it, it, once you start bringing the, the feet closer together, then it gets kind of, kind of sketchy. But, uh, so other than that, um, that's my review of a Benjamin Pitbull 357 A&T or ATN Excite 4K scope 5x20 and uh, Primus bipod trigger stick. All right, uh, we will next video we will uh, break down our Armada Benjamin air rifle. Uh, I guess that's it. All right, peace.